Hi, Tim here with the Attic Depot. Today we're going to cover the placement of the solar attic fan on your roof. The best possible position for the fan is to be facing south or west to get the most amount of sunlight and keep the motor spinning as long as possible during the daylight hours. If the fan is uh, facing south, you're going to catch sunlight all day long as the sun passes from east to west. This will allow the actual panel to face sunlight all day long and run all day long and pull as much air as possible throughout the attic throughout the day and keep the attic as cool as possible. Uh, another thing, if the attic fan is actually facing west, it's going to catch direct sunlight in the afternoon, so that's the hottest time of the day, and it's going to really help to pull that hot air out of the attic. So either between south and west is best. Um, if not, you can place it on another area of a roof, and you can actually tilt the panel to where it is facing either south or west. So either way, uh, the, the panel is fully adjustable, and keep in mind too, when the, when the solar fan is actually on the roof, it's already going to have an angle to it. So you, a lot of times you're not going to have to actually adjust the panel. Just keep it mounted in its original position, and that way you'll have the most amount of sunlight hitting the panel. Placement on which side of the house? Uh, usually it's preferable to put it on the back of the house. Um, a lot of homeowners associations don't allow the fan to be placed on the front or where it's visible from the street. Um, if you do have to place it on the back of the house and it's facing north, for example, you can mount it and tip the panel all the way up to where it is facing south and you'll still get the full effect of the actual uh, solar panel. When you're getting ready to install your solar fan, make sure it's not placed over a vaulted ceiling. Uh, you want to make sure it's clear of any obstructions and not placed over a vaulted ceiling. So we'd normally what we do, we'll go into an attic, take a look around, you'll have a general idea of where you want the fan, but make sure the fan um, is either going in place of a turbine or an air hog vent, that way you can just remove that vent and uh, replace it with a solar fan in lieu of the existing vent. Another thing, um, if you're going to cut a new hole, make sure it's free of obstructions. You may have duct work or wiring running through the attic. Uh, definitely don't want to get your saws on and cut around through a duct or a, a electrical wiring. So make sure you're free of any of that. Typically there's not really any wiring near the rafters, but once in a while you'll have a homeowner that's gone in and done some work after the fact, and those wires could be in, you know, in in the way of your solar fan installation. So we don't want that to happen. We don't want to cause any problems. We, we're here to make the house more efficient and hopefully that'll be a good pointer for you. When you're placing the solar fan, obviously you want it as high on the roof as possible. You're going to want to come down about three feet from the ridge vent. This will give you the most amount of ventilation through the attic. It'll help eliminate the, the most amount of moisture out of the attic and keep your attic as cool as possible. Um, pay close attention to any trees. Uh, the neighbor's house is a two-story. You want to make sure there's no, no shadows casting down the solar panel where it's going to be placed. If that's the case, it's going to really slow down the um, speed of the electric motor and cut down your efficiency. So make sure you're getting maximum sunlight, full sunlight on the panel all day long. Another thing to look out for on the roof are soil pipes, uh, any existing jacks. You might have some gas flue pipes coming out of the roof. You're going to want to stay away from those as it's explained in the building code in most municipalities. Uh, three feet is typically a General rule of thumb, stay at least three feet away from those type of items. Uh, again, soil pipes and flue pipes. The pointer on placing the solar fan on your roof is not to actually install it over an uh, attached garage. The reason for that is you're just going to be pulling air through the garage, through the attic, and out through the house. It's not going to have much of a cooling effect on the rest of the attic. So when you are placing the fan on the roof, make sure it's over a living space in the attic. We call it a conditioned air space. So make sure it's over that and you'll have the most amount of efficiency um, from your solar powered attic fan. Uh, another thing with roof pitch, uh, the way you calculate that, you can either use a, a speed square and a level to determine actual roof pitch, or you can get an app on your phone. Uh, there's lots of different apps on iPhone and Android phones that you can get. Okay, another thing you're gonna wanna look for is the roof pitch. There's a couple reasons why. Um, one thing is the accessibility. If your roof pitch is more than 10, 12, or 12, 12, depending on you know who you are and what you feel comfortable with. Uh, this might not be, this could put yourself into a dangerous situation and you don't actually wanna go up on that type of a roof if it's too steep. Of course, follow all your safety guidelines. If it's a rainy day or inclement weather, stay off the roof completely. Now I'll make sure that the roof is dry and then um, go from there. So the main thing you wanna look for, again, is the roof pitch is just for the accessibility issue of it. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you're safe on the roof. You know, again, don't go on the roof in any inclement weather. If it's slippery, cold, icy, rainy, stay off. The roof has to be completely dry. 
wear your safety equipment, use your boots, your safety goggles, your gloves, and of course your uh, roofing boots. That's going to give you a lot more traction up on the roof. And that about concludes our solar fan placement video. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.